Hi everybody, I'm Charity from Liberty Holiday Junior and we're here to talk about our March April exhibit. And I have Mary Agnes here with me. Hello. And so the three artists we have in our exhibit this month are Sister Mary Grace Thull. And then we have glass pieces by John Ketchy. And you'll see this artist later, but we also have pieces by Ed Cook. So we're gonna start talking about Sister Mary Grace Thull's work and she is a Dominican nun dedicating her life to God and dedicating her art to God which she calls you know painting as prayer for her and this series is called the I am series yeah so the first time in the Bible that it is said that God says that he is the the I am is in Exodus and then later on um, he says it a lot in the book of John um, so these paintings, they're all, a lot of them are stories from the book of John, but each one of them is titled here. We have I am the Good Shepherd, this one's I am the Resurrection. So each of them have a little story to them as well. Um, you can definitely see her love for Christ and God, definitely in these paintings. You can almost feel like you're there with her. Um, seeing the expressive brush strokes and the beautiful colors in them. Um, yeah, they're great to see from afar, like from a little bit of a distance. But then once you zoom in close, you can, I mean, you see her process and you see her painting and each like little section is almost like a tiny little abstract expressive painting all mm -hmm. on its own. And I especially I mean, just like, is she scraping her palette knife down here? It's yeah. gorgeous. And you can still see it's definitely a subtractive process too because she'll scrape off some of the the paint here and you can see the more bare canvas on it there mm -hmm. so yeah and if so if you zoom in here you may not notice this as a person but once you pull out you see that there are some people around around, him. around i am bread for life yeah jesus so. And each of the, the symbol, which is um, at the top of each of these paintings, um, is the unspoken word of God, which means Yahweh, um, which is Yahweh, so, yeah. yes. This one is I am light, so it's Jesus healing a blind man. So you'll have to come in and read the little stories behind each one. Yeah, because Sister's sure. got a wonderful little booklet, and so we have copies on the wall, like, kind of telling you what's going on, too, so... It's, all of them are so peaceful. His face is very, mm -hmm. I don't want to say somber, but it's, it's, serene. it's very serene, relaxed, comforting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, such, so gentle as well. These little dots of these grapes right here, hang on, mm -hmm. just so fun. With just the smallest amount of brush strokes, you can make such a, like, just gestural mm -hmm. pieces, can you can feel like the whole energy and you know exactly what it is with even just like, the few different colors in his face and few brush strokes, he, you know what it is, which is such a hard, um, uh, it's hard to perfect that. It's hard to learn how to do that. And, then, there he is. and here's another piece. This is, I am, be not afraid. And so does Jesus walking on water. And there's amazed people kind of watching it happen. I mean, but really, you can see every stroke she makes, which is, just so fun um, and so expressive. And then we have one more over here to show you. This one is I am the way, truth, life. And this is just like you were saying with the other painting, like from farther away, you know these are people. Like, yeah, if you then, come like, if you like just yeah. pop this out and you look up close, you have no idea what that is. Yeah. But once you pull it, pull it back, you can see that it is people. And her use of making skin tone is so gorgeous as well with using these like blues and oranges and pinks. You wouldn't think of that as skin undertones, but even, you know, they're all different colors in there, but it's, it's, it's portrayed so well with that. Um, so, and getting close to, we always say that one painting is composed of a million smaller paintings. So you could spend a lot of time with each piece and finding your, your favorite part or your favorite one. But we, y'all definitely will have to come in and feel the energy in this room because the warmth from the paintings with the color and I guess the stories and the, the message behind it as well um, really is comforting in here. So our exhibit, our exhibit main room is feeling pretty great right now. So. And we can go on to our next artist, and that's John Getchy. Yeah, so John Getchy, he is a glass artist, glass blowing artist. Um, these specifically are his Merletto vase glass pieces. We have a lot of these. We also have some different um, bowls in the other room. 
But this specific technique is really cool, um, how he gets this nice matte finish on here. He sandblasts them and then he does an acid wash on it. Um, the acid wash also distorts the um, like little squiggly lines in here. Um, so then also what's really cool with that is even if you have, you know, greasy fingers or whatever, um, it doesn't ever leave thumbprints on it. So it always has a nice clean finish. Another cool thing, if we want to look at more of them over here, uh, another cool thing about them is you have almost two pieces in one because the acid wash is only on the outside, the external of the piece, but on the inside it's still pretty glossy. So you get to see that both ways. These would be really fun to put like Christmas lights inside up to light up or it can sit on its own, but the colors are very nice, very peaceful. So we have another piece here. They're so sturdy and solid. And it was and nice how the colors just so happened to uh, work perfectly. Correspond sisters, with all of sisters, yeah. Yes. And in our hallway, we have some more Getty pieces. These are a little bit different. They are his Eclipse bowls. And so he's doing cane working here. So he uses these, these little pieces of glass. And then he blows and melts them and it just turn them into too. like these kind of patterns, these patterns. So you can see he used like a cane here and he was blowing it and distorting it and pulling it and then probably a pure blue here. And so you can see kind of a little of how he is making these pieces. And he says that even though glass blowing is, you know, at the end you get like a solid piece, he wants to think of it as movement um, because you're thinking about his process and melting the piece and warping it into however he wants it. So you still have a movement with such a steady piece as well. And he wants to keep that organic shape and that organic energy with it as well. So, yeah. And then we'll talk about our next artist who is Edward Cook. And so he does these amazing miniature landscapes that really just draw you in. And the fun part about this exhibit specifically is normally he frames them so you don't get to see all of this fun palette and background work that he's doing when he's painting these. So normally this, you can't see it. It's so like even here on the bottom, that's got a little duck that he's you know duck. sketching <laughs> on the outside. He loves to write little comments or where he's like, love the transparency of the water and blue mountains. So he, he kind of, he writes little sentences about why he loved these locations. He kind of puts, you gotta get put in his shoes for sure and seeing the, how he was feeling and you get to see his personality as well with his little blurbs that he puts on it. Just seeing the process as well of how he creates these beautiful miniatures on the side is really cool. And um, it's almost like how perfectionistic he is with the small, like the actual painting um, and then on the outside you have com kind of like the imperfect kind of I quote unquote messy you know his working here so there's like a cool juxtaposition with like the imperfection and the perfection of it um, he's got a cute little maybe there was a little mayfly that was flying around when he was there so he'll go into the scene and he'll take a picture and then he'll work from that picture from home but you still get the feel of how he was feeling inside of his his work you want to try to show this little signature up here yeah, so he always write, he'll always write on here signature, so you have to look really, really close, and you'll see it says Cook there, so. And then on the back of some of them, he has some little blurbs um, about what he was feeling. So this one here, we have Autumn Reflections, also has one of my favorites on top. Um, in Vermont, it has the size and where he was. And this says, I saw the scene on one of my trips to Vermont. I knew it would be a challenge to capture. I really like how this turned out. It's a keeper, so cute. And he says uh, at the bottom, 35 days before my 87th birthday. So one, that's really cute, that's adorable. And then also it's so amazing him being in his later years and still be able, being able to do these, this kind of technique with the miniatures and being so precise with his brush strokes and color, um, color palette. And as like these miniatures draw you in to look closer, the scenes also draw you in and invite you to come sit on these white rocks. Yeah, you get the feeling. And we have um, scenes from like year round. So we have a nice little snow scene here, sunny morning. And then we have some autumn pieces and some spring pieces and summer pieces. So you get a feeling for each of them. So yeah, this is a really great show. Um, it's obviously even better in person because it's 
art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're trying to do the best we can to give you a little feel of it if you can't make it here. Mm -hmm. But we would so, love to see you in the gallery. Mm -hmm. And this is up till the end of April. So you have about two months to see it if you want to come through, come by and see it. And we also have everything up on our website, river-gallery.com. So yeah, come see us any way you need to. And thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Hope everyone has a safe weekend. <laughs>